Okay, so welcome to the core team triage meeting uh, 27th of November 2019. Uh, Carol is not here, so I'm going to drive the meeting today. And we're going to start with the public items on the list. Um, guidelines for team-wide stand-up meeting. Um, I need to push that by another week. Was on me. Then stage RFC, stage design. Um, I have no news on that and Nico is on holidays as far as I see. Does that, anyone else have any news on this? No. Legal issues discussion status has moved. Um, the licensing guidelines are currently with the compiler team to check if it's uh, okay or not. Seems like there was um, not everyone had a good bearing of what our current issues are, especially um, with regards to are there other general and or specific issues? Um, we have both. Um, and so I had a longer discussion with Felix Clark on what would be a good way to, um, to address these issues. Uh, specifically, if compiler team should have a full meeting on that or if a group of individuals should start working on this. Currently looks like we it's going to be a, a group of individuals with regular um, uh, that has a regular conversation with the whole team instead of having full hour meetings with everyone on this. Um, white papers has not moved. Community sub teams um, for the website. Do you want to address this, what we spoke about today, Manish, or shall I also do that? Uh, I can speak about it. Um, so the community team is, um, sorry, there's some noise from somewhere. Ah. The community team is basically figuring out um, how to structure itself. And I think the idea, Florian had a pretty good proposal, which was a whole bunch of, um, which is basically looking at the work the community team is actually doing, formalizing that as teams, and also structuring the community team itself as like more of a community leadership team where it's less high volume, um, but ties all the sub teams together, which this is similar to how DevTools is doing its thing. Uh, so it's pretty good. One of the open questions is um, currently Rustbridge and Rustlings are probably not really a community team thing. Um, and the question was, should there be a top level team, a WG, or maybe um, like I, I brought up that really this, this overlaps with docs as well. A lot of the doc stuff that is kind of unloved right now, it would be nice if we could have a separate place for all this. Um, but right now I think they're gonna go with the results of like a, a low volume top level WG and then like figure stuff out as things move. Um, yeah, so that's basically where we're at. Stuff is still being figured out. Um, uh, Aaron from the governance WG is involved. Uh, so like she's been suggesting stuff as well. So that's good. We have feedback there. Additionally, Aaron has expressed interest of actually taking over the website team. Oh, that's great. Yep. So, so why the like the rustlings and rust bridge can you say why you you all thought that wasn't a community team thing for you it it feels well at least marisa thinks it's not it seems to be more of a learning kind of thing um i'm not really sure i completely agree but i do feel that it's a bit different from the other community team things that said i think the community team in general is a grab bag of stuff so I'm not 100% convinced. Like, 
people interested in the website are not necessarily going to be interested in the other community team stuff, et cetera. And that is fine. That is true for the DevTools team as well. And that works out pretty well that like, oh, folks are interested in cargo, but not Rust stuff. That's totally fine. Um, but like, that's, that's a discussion that we still need to have basically. I think, um, yeah, overall, most of the community sub teams I, I think the problem with without having this um, kind of overarching, some kind of loose umbrella org, what happens is that the small sub teams are all like driven by one person. And as that person gets busy, they kind of get forgotten about. And we've seen this happen a lot. So I do think that having a rough community org over all these small teams or having some kind of umbrella over all these small teams doesn't need to be the community leadership team or whatever is a good idea because without that, um, most of these will get forgotten as like people move on, etc. And um, I'm not convinced that like rustlings and the learning team as a top level team would survive if it, without like this kind of thing, but whatever. That there are differences of opinions on that. I think there was a little bit of the notion of the community team pretty often supporting crews that are kind of outside the project. So for example, yeah. meetups are usually not organized within the project, but the community team supports them. Yeah. Um, and Rustbridge pretty often being a much more tight knit group. So I think it's more or less organizational strategy and the amount of material that they produce. And so I, I think you could, could argue in both ways, but um, that's something we should continue to discuss. I mean, I think that like half the things that the community team has under its umbrella right now are very unrelated to the others because like the website as well, that's like, I mean, the same argument can and should be made for the website, um, but like it is under community because that's a convenient place for it to be because there is less desire for an overarching um, web properties team right now, and that might not do well. Mm. There's also still um, the idea of um, making marketing a subject of a community team and the website would fit under that quite, quite nicely. Mm. Yeah. And I don't, I don't see marketing being something that we should have as a top level team. Yeah, that, that does make sense. So a lot of these things are basically around overlap with other parts of the organization where we might feel something does not fit under that umbrella, but um, it, I think the biggest discussion in the meeting, we just had it it's, uh, two hours ago, was really on those edges where oh this could be uh, this could be there or this this could be on this side or in that side and um, so yeah mm. so cool thanks for the explanation roadmap planning uh, anyone that's been involved I think Mark you had been somewhat involved? Yes, I think we're pretty much in the state of like we're working through the posts. Um, I think there's supposed to be a meeting, I want to say next week, um, but I don't actually recall. Um, and I think, uh, Nick, do you have anything more to say? Or? I was just gonna say, I don't think the meeting's actually been scheduled yet. Oh, okay, I, I forget. I think Nico sent out a doodle and that was it. Maybe, yeah, I don't there's know. definitely been a doodle. And I think like an email following up on that. I'm not sure whether there was actually a meeting schedule. Anyway, nothing of interest has really happened. <laughs> it's the short answer. Okay. Um, but if people like the deadline for posts we issued is Sunday, I think. So um, now's a good time to do any last minute blog posts or reading there's the paper that's got the, the list of blog posts. It's a good time for people to, to read that and notice anything, <laughs> I guess. And just on a, as a heads up on roadmap things that I intend to involve Pietro. So uh, if you see him uh, hovering around the 
paper docs or the meeting invites or whatever, then how you know. Does, uh, did you say Pietro? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. Cool. Sounds good. Okay. Um, just personally speaking, I'm, I still need to write my blog post and I don't know if I have the bandwidth to, to participate, so I might even just drop out of the meeting and um, yeah, work on my other stuff. Okay, uh, Rust survey. Um, I have seen things moving there. Um, with Nico not being here, I'm not sure what the current state of it is. Um, I can send an update in a minute. Erin sitting next door, so she be able to give me one. Uh, governance dev at WG. I have no update. Has anyone else an update? I've seen they've been blogging. Um, yeah, just producing some stuff and discussing stuff. It's going well. It's not, I don't think there's like any milestone yet. Okay. Um, discussion from last week. Um, let's not break Rust over Christmas. Um, I spoke to a release team about this and they have discussed it. And I wrote, a, I wrote them a tiny two paragraph thing about this. Um, they consider proposing freezing tool state over Christmas, um, but um, we we're all on the same page as we're saying, well, don't, don't bend over backwards to make sure everything works. It's more like don't willfully break things just before going into holidays. So pretty subtle thing and release agrees there. If anyone has any other team meetings, maybe Please ping me and I can send you that, that small piece of, of blurb that I wrote. It's more to make sure that people keep it in the back of their heads. Um, I'll check it off um, because I know that there have been discussions around this. Let's see how it works out. Okay, uh, that brings us to the end of the public part of the meeting. Cool, switching over.